The Bank of Canada announced earlier this week they will not be hiking interest rates. Time to celebrate? We're not done yet. You don't think we're done yet. Raising rates. It's pretty interesting. Stick around to see the breakdown of what is coming in the near future in regard to monetary policy inside and outside of the real estate market. Weaker GDP was seemingly the largest contributor for the rate hold decision. The impending recession, i.e. less consumer purchasing, therefore less profits, following eventual layoffs is apparently starting to show forth and Tim Macklin has stated he anticipates the economy to formally enter a recession before the end of this year and continue into the first half of 2024. The goalpost for taming inflation has shifted with the Bank of Canada's target now at 3%, whereas prior to this press conference was 2%. Seemingly, sticky core inflation is proving to be the tedious task and 3% is now the more realistic goal, says reading in between the lines. Further, higher interest rates have been confirmed to be the new normal, with the interest rates of before 2021 becoming a thing of the past. In relation to the real estate market and the mortgage stress test, having to qualify for a benchmark rate of around 5% seems to be a likely reality not too far ahead of us. With that said, purchasers needing to qualify 5% or less would be overjoyed versus the give or take 7% of today. Still quite a radical change compared to only a few years ago. Lastly, as mentioned, core inflation is continuing to remain almost stagnant and therefore puts the likelihood of rate hikes in the near future a probability. How does this all impact the real estate market in the next 12 to 24 months? I expect inventory to increase with fixed rates becoming up for renewal, having downsizers or retirees forced to kickstart their plans ahead. I also anticipate sales decreasing despite the rise in inventory. However, I think home prices will remain mostly stagnant. While my predictions are a setup for a softer market, I think it will be shoved short before any real decline in prices occurs as a result of the Bank of Canada beginning to cut rates in 2024, eventually changing buyer psychology, taking those off the fence into the game, and finally allowing those who have been concerned to break their current rate, finally make a move heading toward 2025, thus restarting the market into its usual busyness. How this all does play out and any relevant updates along the way will be brought to you here. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode.